Greet the saints in the name of our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm talking to the servants of the living God, the pastors um, in, in Swaziland Conference. And I'm also addressing the church members everywhere. Um, the country is going through a terrible time. Not only these challenges, but over and above, they are covid uh, uh, impact over our lives and everything that we do as a church, you know, uh, bear the effect of the negativity that is caused by COVID-19. We cannot reach out as we used to. Uh, some of our members have lost their jobs and uh, um, not only jobs, we have lost a number of uh, uh, lies very dear to us. So when, when COVID is over, if it will ever be over, it will leave all the marks that will remain with us until the Lord comes. But I want to read this verse, um, John 16, verse 23. I in them and you in me, that they may be perfect in one, and that the world may know that you have sent me and I have loved them as you have loved me. What an assurance. Christ is saying just before he left for heaven that you are in me and me, meaning Christ, I am in them. Then whatever the church will do, the world will know that I am in them. Dear, dear friends, we have just heard of the Mbuana a, a, a church building that collapsed. And in that, in, that, in that catastrophe, I want to encourage you to open your eyes and see the mighty hand of God. That, that building could have collapsed while the kids were, 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 were inside the church or other, the, the members, but not a single loss of, of life. Let me say, I've been in and out of that beautiful building. A building that his, has some historical memories in everyone's life. That's where the church started, but that's where the devil targeted to make his mark. I want to say, good people, come with me. Let there be nothing that will separate us from the love of God. So says Paul, the apostle. I want to say, to our pastors, that our ministry is now done differently. We, can, we cannot hold public campaign. We can, it, it's in some areas, even church gathering, get, gatherings are restricted as, as, as most countries move to level four. Things, things are done in a different way. We now, we now depend on the social media to, to reach out to the people, but I'm saying, to the pastors, let us not lose courage. Christ says in verse 33, <clears throat> uh, John, John 16, he says, where is verse 33? He, he says, oh, sorry. These things I've spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Listen, things may happen that may, may appear like, like we are being overcome. But our, our master says, fear not, I have overcome. So because he has overcome, we will overcome. Let me say, good people, whatever tragedy, let it not destroy our courage. 
our faith, our trust, but let the opposite be true. Wherever the devil has stolen one member, let's pray and preach and bring two more. Where every loss, let it be replaced by double that we have lost. All I'm, I'm saying, this, these are the times that, that, that the church has never experienced in the past. But this is the time that the church will experience the divine presence like no other time. Friends, let, let our eyes not focus only on the negative, but let's also see, because God looks for such times, tough times, when he can show how powerful he is over the tough times. I'm saying God does not have anyone anywhere but you as a pastor, but you as a member. Bad, bad things are reported all over around. The country is going through a hard time, but tough times never last. My God has a special ability to turn the negative into positive. My God does not wait for conditions to be favorable. But while the conditions are unfavorable, to him are very positive. That's when he excel, proving that he is God, not controlled by the weather, by the negative impact of negative conditions, only if God's people were to trust him even more. Friends, We see decline in soul winning. We see decline in tithe and offering. I believe that no matter how negative the situation may be, but our God specializes, we should not allow the, the negative things to have a negative impact on the cause of God. Because this God, you know, when he put this world together, there was, there was no material to use. That's why when we call of para, Jesus just spoke and things stood still. At Nihilo, from nothing, something came. Even when there are no jobs, lost of lives. But the cause of God must be seen going from strength to strength. Because God is who he is. He specializes on such negative times. All that we need, friends, we need to have, to have our faith focus on the Lord. Let me just share uh, 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 this, this passage that, that touched my heart from Desire of Ages, page 504, where it says, Many who profess his name have lost sight of the fact that Christians are to represent Christ unless there is practically self-sacrifice for the good of others in the family circle, in the neighborhood, in the church, and wherever we may be, then whatever our profession, we are not Christians. Friends, wherever we are, let the church demonstrate the presence the power of God. I believe that God in us, come what may, we will be victorious. There are other God's people in other areas affected the way you and I are affected. But let me tell you, souls are still coming in. Tithe and offerings are more than what they were the previous years. And I'm saying, why are others affected negatively? While others, the same negativity, but gives them the positive results. All that we need, friends, let's not look at the, the conditions that are unfavorable. You and I, we wait for the right time. God has no right time. Every time is the right time, as long as God's people Trust. I'm saying, Swaziland Conference, stand up, be strong, trust the Lord, pray like never before. 
so that the world may know. When they see the church triumphant, even in times like this, they will know. Friends, let us not respond positively to the negative impact of the world. Let's, let's remain focused. Let's remain positive, trusting. There's nothing impossible with God. I believe that this is the best time to demonstrate our faithfulness in God. This is the best time for God. When things are going down with God, things will go up. As long as you and I remain faithful, remain focused, remain trusting the Lord, you, we, will, we will look back and say to each other, wow, how did we make it? Then the honor, the glory will go to the Lord. There's, 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 a, there's, a, there's a, 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 an event, an experience that I never forget. A young girl was driving her father around. Suddenly they hit a storm. They couldn't even see uh, uh, their way in five meters. And the, the girl screamed and said, Dad, I can't even see. It's so dark. Um, uh, uh, can I pull out? And the dad said, keep driving, girl. No matter how worse the young girl complained, but the father kept on saying, keep driving, my girl, keep driving. After long, they came out of the storm. Then the father said, now you can pull aside. Then the girl said, dad, this is the time now to speed up and make up time. Then the dad said, pull out, pull off. As they pull off, they said, get out of the car, look back. The storm was still there. If they had many cars when they got in, they stuck, they couldn't go through. But because under those unfavorable conditions, they kept on moving slowly, slowly, until there was a breakthrough. Those who stuck, they were stuck until the storm had done the damage over them and their property. But if we keep going, we will come out victorious and we'll be able to look back and say, we have been there. By his grace, we made it. Friends, this, this thing that shakes our faith, this is nothing to our God. He says, fear not, I have overcome the world. This is the time, this is the best time when things are falling apart everywhere. This is the best time for our God to come in and prove that he is God. So, but for him to do all this, he needs people who have faith in him. Like a friend of mine once said, faith is believing that it is so when it is not so, so that it can be so. Let's have the faith, let's exercise the deepest level of our faith so that the Lord can come in his power and take his church above the storm at the end of it all. May we say there was never a time when the church was at its highest than when the church, the world was at its lowest. The church is God's organization. It's being operated from above, not controlled, not subject to the conditions that are unfavorable. Swaziland Conference, trust the Lord. This too shall come to pass. May we see chest growth going from strength to strength. May we see the faithfulness of our people in tithe and offering going from best to best because we trust that God remains God under any circumstances. I'm saying where you and I are struggling and failing, somebody somewhere under the same conditions, they are praising the Lord for his intervention. We need to have our faith in order for the Lord to break through, to break in and prove that he is God. You are in our prayers. You will remain in our prayers until we celebrate the victory. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
Tizo ta, ta tizi pambano Umsi tizi mlandele Lapo ye ole la kona Kibe na ye yonke izela Noma izela emnyama Zinya mozi katele Enzizi Enzizi Yoi ya kanya Kailande Tela Yonki Tela Gizo Gizo Tata Tambano Umsindi Zingi Landele Sing, 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 sing,